I couldn't be found Off my big home The bare necessities of life will come to you They'll come to you Hello everybody, we are off to one of my local fish stores. Uh, I should say local coral store, or at least they have fish, but it seems that their specialty is really, you know, focusing on coral and we're about to find out why. I've only been there once. I went there a couple weeks ago. I, um, I actually had no idea that this place existed and it's such a, you know, diamond in the rough. It was difficult to find at first um, until I started, you know, getting into the reef hobby and looking at all of the different Facebook groups and randomly I came across them one day and I was surprised to see such a amazing store uh, like in my backyard and I had such a pleasant experience. The people there are great. Their staff are helpful, kind. Um, they, you know, answered all the questions I had and uh, really, really friendly people. So I reached out and I wanted to kind of do like a business spotlight for them um, and get my first coral because I am dying to do it while my tank has a few issues, uh, mainly with the hair algae, <laughs> which I'm working on, um, which I think is a pretty easy, you know, there's a pretty easy fix to it and I just need to get in there and, and, and clean it. Um, but I'm excited to go get some coral, so let's go. We just arrived, so let's go in and say hi. So as soon as you walk into the reef rack, you are greeted by this amazing display tank that they have. Apparently it's a, uh, a team effort, um, from what I was told, and everybody, all the employees contribute um, coral and uh, their time to maintain it all and stuff. So uh, obviously it looks gorgeous, like the coral are stunning, the life they have in there. I haven't found a uh, snowflake eel hiding around in the bedrock, but... Uh, Honestly, I'm I'm totally jealous and envious, and hopefully my tank someday will look this amazing. But their overall uh, display, um, they have a little storefront up front, so you have all your chemicals, substrate, some you know of your more fancy equipment like the algae scrubbers, all there in the front. And then they have a small little frag tank in the front as well. Uh, it was only maybe half populated, but. Uh, some pretty corals in there. Uh, I don't know if maybe these are on sale or I know that they do a Facebook group where they have like a raffle every so often so I don't know if these were for that but and they had these two little uh, clownfish were just absolutely adorable. So I'm kind of curious like what, what typical uh, levels in terms of alkalinity, calcium, are you looking at or do aquarium when you're starting out getting Oh, well, you just or, basically want to match like natural uh, sea water. So this area is seven, so that's about seven. Okay. On average, in most parts of the ocean, temperature usually fluctuates a little bit from seven to to about eighty. Uh, you know, that would be medium at about seventy-five, seventy-six. You know, um, calcium is usually about four twenty to four fifty range. So just kind of just want to match all your natural sea water levels. So, in the event that like mine are still a little bit higher than that, on average, I'm not sure right now since I'm still starting out. So, what, like, how would you suggest like lowering those levels? Is it just your? I was going to say, you know, honestly, on the water changers, like the fruits we're talking about earlier, the calcium is about for about four fifty. Okay. So, the water changers are definitely going to raise or lower it. You go for about the same. Now, when you start keeping the silver like that, you start dosing like some ash or some carbonate or something like that. The water will increase your health and calcium levels. For the most part. You know, uh, whenever you water change, it's going to be pretty consistent. Um, you know, Alex can up in seven to eight range every time. Alex can be 450. So, after speaking with Craig and asking him some questions about getting parameters right for, you know, a brand new reef aquarium and getting that set up, uh, I asked him if he could take me back to where all the coral are, and I gotta admit, I mean, I've been here before, but it just, it's its an awesome feeling walking into that room because compared to some of the other fish stores, not saying that they're, you know, bad or anything in terms of quality, but these guys are on a whole nother level. Their displays and overall quality of their corals, you can tell that they really care about taking care of their stock and making sure it is in pristine condition for their customers when they come in to purchase. I spent a good long while looking at all of their different 
displays, different sections of coral, and I gotta admit that one of my favorites are the Euphilias. I fell in love with the hammer coral that they have there, and I ended up picking the one up, which I will show you eventually once the time is right. Uh, I also ended up picking up one of their Zoas. Um, I just I know that lighting has a big role to play in how coral presented, but um, the colors are absolutely just stunning. Like I know in the video, what you see is not what you would see in real life. Those uh, euphilias almost have like a really yellow tint to them. They come off really green in the video, but uh, they looked yellow and just like a golden yellow almost, and it's just stunning. I so I fell in love with those and some of their other Zoas, um, but in my tank they do look a little different, which is totally expected. Um, and I'm uh, so, you know still learning how to adjust my lights accordingly. But uh, man, this was so much fun, and uh, honestly I've been wanting to pick out coral and get into this for so long. And this experience was a great start to this amazing adventure that I am I have embarked on. <laughs> amazing and expensive venture. <laughs> so while I was looking around, I also took some snapshots of their filtration. I didn't really get into too much of that. Um, I did speak with the owner a little bit, which I did get um, a little like introduction from him, which I'll share in a little bit. Um, his name is Matt, and he mentioned to me that they're in the process of uh, adding some new uh, displays and tanks and kind of doing a little uh, renovating. So um, I didn't bother trying to get like a whole full tour of their system, but he did invite me back later uh, on once they get that set up. So hopefully when that time comes, um, he will give me a full tour and really go in the depth about, you know, what kind of filtration they have in their store and how they manage it all and all that. That would be awesome so Matt when you're watching this uh, let me know when you're ready and we'll get another video out because this was a lot of fun for me personally now while their main focus is the coral uh, they do have uh, several different displays on the wall and some in the back where they have uh, fish um, some are special ordered by customers that they order for them and uh, that are they're just fish that are uh, for sale, but um, I fell in love with some of their tangs, and if I had, um, I, I wasn't going into the store <laughs> thinking that I would end up uh, walking out with a fish. I almost, I almost did. I wanted this Desjardini Selvin tang, and it was just stunning. Uh, I wanted it so bad, but I decided that I'm not quite ready for this. That was a very hard decision to make because I know if I if it's still there next time I go, my wallet's going to scream at me. <laughs> but again, yeah, so they had a whole bunch of different uh, displays on the wall. It looked like some of them were specifically just for um, like species, like they had a cl uh, clownfish specific tank, um, and then they had some that they had uh, some coral that they looked like they were rehabilitating or trying to uh, let heal in some like lower flow, lower light systems. But overall, like this setup that they have here, very impressive and um, easily one of my favorite stores so far that I've been to. Not to mention it is much closer than any of the other fish stores. This is your boss? Yes. Okay. Uh, my name's Matt Corona. So, Matt, you've um, had this business for how long? It's going to be three years, uh, actually, uh, on Monday. Uh, wow, six. really? Congratulations. So, three years, three years. So, um, it's, going, it's going really well. We're awesome. Yeah, it seems like you guys have one of the most impressive setups here in Kansas City. I've been to a lot of the different sure. saltwater stores. Sure. No one has a setup like this for corals that I've seen. Sure. Well, we try. I mean, we really, um, you know, when we first started, we had a different vision. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, um, you know, where the industry is going, you know, everything's looking like um, you know, aquaculture. And then, uh, you know, on state side, everyone does aquaculture. But, mm -hmm. you know, our, our exporters, um, you know, they're switching everything to uh, mariculture. And that's not to say that's everyone. Uh, right. But the vast majority, you know, when I first got into it, you could get these huge uh, pieces of coral and, and everyone wanted those things. And um, 
now it's, it's kind of gone on to, to marriage. So, That's awesome. Uh, which is cool. I think it's good for the hobby. It's good for the industry. And um, it keeps everyone happy. It should get, I think, more affordable as we start getting into uh, sustainability. It's definitely picked up, I'd say, in the yeah. last couple of years for sure. Yeah. But no. So, Masa, it's, I'm glad that I found you guys. It's been, you know, I've been... I've only gotten in salt water recently, and I've been going to the other stores in Kansas City, but I haven't seen you guys pop up until you know, maybe two months ago. And sure. I had to come check you guys out, and I've, I've been impressed. I appreciate it's it. It's awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. No, we're, we're tucked away here, and um, it was kind of by design. We didn't want to be a, a, a normal uh, retail right, uh, right. type store, which is... <laughs> um, not something that's bad, but we just, I think we like the, little, the commercial aspect. Of it. it allows us to grow better. I think. Right. So, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Really get into the hobby and yeah. meet the local hobbyists and stuff. Uh, just be your next big box store. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, awesome. So. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time. Good. It's been yeah. awesome so far. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm excited for your, for your goals. Yeah. I can't wait to Maybe get them and put them in. <laughs> Good, man. Well, cool. So overall, I had a great experience. It was a, it was a blast to check out all the different coral and you know, meet the staff of the Reef Rack, and I had a great time, and I am super happy with my coral, but I want to give a big shout out to Matt and everyone there at the Reef Rack. Thank you so much for having me and letting me do this video. I had a lot of fun uh, doing it, so I can't wait for uh, my next visit and uh, when you guys are ready for the next uh, tour when you guys do your expansion. But until then, fish on fish fam, and I will catch you later. Hey, are you new to the fish keeping hobby? Or are you a veteran with experience you'd like to share with others? Either way, why don't you come and join the rest of the community in the discussion on the Fishy Business Discord server. Discord is a community-driven chat application. Freshwater, saltwater, shrimp, and more. Our community grows every day. All are welcomed and we would love if you would join us. You can find links to the server and the application in the description below. And as always, we thank you for watching the video. So fish on, fish fam, and we'll see you there.